Hello YouTube, this is Alex, Gaming History, and I just wanted to do a little review on the Mega Retron HD. This is a Genesis clone system, and I'm just going to be playing a little bit of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on it. And uh, as you can see on the back, it has your usual AV cables and then an HDMI cable uh, input. And there's also a screen, a widescreen, or 4.3. Then on the back, there's a region switcher from American Japanese PAL. And uh, this system outputs in 720p. So I'm just going to play a little bit of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on it and see how it works. I also have the Nintendo version of this, which is the Retron 1 HD. So uh, I'm just going to try it out, and this is like the middle of the road clone console, I would say. It's not the cheapest, and it's not the most expensive, but uh, I really like the controller that comes with it. I'll show that once I get the footage up, but uh, yeah, so uh, we're just going to check it out. Okay. Okay, and we're back, and we're going to be playing uh, just the first stage of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on the Mega Retron HD Genesis clone console. So we're just going to try this on easy and just see what um, how it looks here. This game holds a special place in my heart because it's one of the first Genesis games that I collected. And I got my I got my Genesis back in uh, 06. And my, the first game that I got was the Terminator 2 arcade game, Rail Shooter. But then I discovered this game and I didn't even know Michael Jackson had a game at that point in time. But, uh, I actually played the arcade version, which I like a little bit better. And I had the arcade uh, JAMA board, but I ended up selling that. year ago but uh, yeah I really like the arcade I really like the arcade better but uh, what I'm looking at right here on the screen um, it doesn't have that uh, composite blurriness to it and the colors are more saturated than uh, the regular console. And it looks really, really impressive. I think it looks probably the best. I think it looks pretty much the best it's ever gonna look. zombie level is pretty hard before that. But yeah, I'm really liking how this feels. This is the controller, the six button uh, hyperkin controller. 
and I'm not used to the six button. I'm just used to playing on the three button Genesis controller. Walking upstairs has always been hard in this game. You have to do the controller at such a angle. check all the doors. Now, I know there was a complaint with the Nintendo Redtron 1 with the colors not being accurate, and that's true. I was playing Robocop for the NES, and instead of being blue, he was kind of like a blue-purple. But uh, other than that, the sound sound and everything works fine. But this is a great system for modern TVs with the HDMI output on it. So if you're if you're just looking for something, you know, quick and easy to hook up to a modern TV, this is probably the one of the best ways to do it. Oh, walking up those damn stairs. It's like you can't it, you can't go up. You have to like go forward and up to make to make it go to make your character go up. So, but yeah, I just loved this game as a kid. I first got it in middle school, and I have the Sega Master System version of it too. But uh, yeah, this. is a nice system as far as clone consoles go but uh, I'll just get through this one little boss here and then that'll be it for this little broadcast but yeah I had the arcade jam aboard and I just love that you can get it on a Pandora's box too for cheaper because it's like nine hundred dollars. Yeah, my uh, my original Genesis three button controller, the buttons were starting to wear out, and jumping on certain games became impossible. But uh, so I had to get an this Hyperkin controller, but it, it feels good, and this is a nice uh, middle-of-the-road clone console system, and you can play all of your PAL and Japanese and stuff like that, so it's a really good all-around system, and I recommend it, and I just uh, loved playing this Michael Jackson game. I got a really good kick out of it back in 06 when I started collecting for the Genesis, and you know, back in 06, I got my Genesis for like $14 at a game store. And now they're like on eBay for 50 like a complete system. So the price of the retro stuff is pretty insane right now. But I hope you enjoyed this little uh, review and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.